Today I am going to show you how easy it is to use Firebase's remote config. Now, before we get into the tutorial, let me just show you uh, that uh, at rebeloper.com slash mentoring, I can meet with you on a one-on-one -on -one session. If you have any questions about iOS, Swift, Swift UI, or you just want to learn Swift UI or iOS development in general, go ahead and check out rebeloper.com slash mentoring. Now, why Firebase remote config? Well, it's a super convenient way to access remote configurations through your app. You basically are not going to be required to submit your app to the App Store again and again and again just to iterate through your app or just to change some stuff. So uh, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and click the link in the description for the whole playlist where I set up, uh, well, I talk about authentication, fire store, storage and all of that stuff. But most importantly, I have already set up a Firebase uh, project. And all we have to do is just go under build and click on a remote config. So this uh, will, uh, here we will be able to create a configuration. So let's just cl click on that. Let's wait for that. And what I'm going to do here is just going to type out the key. Uh, here is a text. It's of type string, but you can add a number, boolean, JSON. Maybe for a boolean, a good uh, remote config is to maybe just kill some portions of the app. Maybe it's, I don't know, some sort of a monetization and it gets out of hand for some unfortunate reasons. Then you just click, uh, you know, just change this to um, false. And then, you know, the, the app, once it loads, it, yeah. And how does this work, basically? Uh, we have this setup configuration inside your Firebase uh, dashboard and your app will fetch that uh, when it launches. Uh, it's going to use the default ones if uh, it doesn't see any or maybe you, you know, don't have internet connection or whatever. Or if it has some new, it's just going to fetch that one and if that is going to be updated, then of course, the new values will be fetched. So currently I'm just going to have a text right over here and um, let's set the default value to hello remote config. Okay, and um, uh, let's click on that. And uh, yeah, uh, there are some changes right over here. This is draft, you may edit it. Yeah, go ahead and play around with it. We want to publish the changes. So let's click on there. And uh, yeah, now all of these changes are live and ready to be fetched inside our application. So uh, I have already my application right over here. Again, check out the, the playlist. Um, most importantly, I have the Google service info playlist one, which ties this to the dashboard. And I also have an app delegate where uh, I just uh, configured the Firebase app uh, in the application that finished launching with options. Now, the second important thing is to add the remote uh, uh, config uh, library into your app. Now, you could do that while uh, you uh, add the Swift package, or if you have already done so, like I did, you just want to go under your target genre and scroll down to frameworks, libraries, and embedded content. Click on the plus right over here and uh, search for it. So here it is, uh, Firebase. Uh, remote config. Let's add that. And because we are going to use some property wrappers, just do you also add the Swift one. So Firebase remote config Swift. Let's add those. So make sure that both of them are right over here. So now uh, if we just, uh, well, let's just go and create uh, a new file right over here. So uh, let's create a new file. It will be a Swift UI view. And um, let's just see, remote config view. Let's just create that. Um, well, it doesn't really matter. All I care about is that, um, yeah, and the canvas works quite well with it. So now we have this hello world. But what if I want this text to be 
hello remote config or whatever I change on the fly while the app is on the app store. So what you need to do is just import here uh, remote Firebase remote config and let's just import Firebase remote config Swift also. So now you will be able to have a property wrapper called uh, remote config property and it has a key and a fallback. So the key, as I told you, it will be the text and the fallback. Well, the fallback could be this hello world. So let me just copy it out and paste it in there. And uh, private var, and I just call this text of type string. Okay, and now that we have that over there, I'm just going to have that text added in there. And the the preview is a little bit slow today with me. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, yeah, maybe just go ahead and launch the app. So I'm going to remove this and then remote config view. Now, uh, once I launch the app, let me just do that. It will fetch the remote config from the Firebase dashboard and it will apply it to our views. Now, um, it might take a little bit of time uh, to you know, propagate through, but you have your fallback. So let's see if uh, this will have your fallback. And usually when I just was developing uh, with a remote config, I found that uh, it usually takes a few hours to propagate through. So uh, please be patient with this. Uh, this is all you have to do. It's really, really straightforward and simple. It might come in uh, earlier or later. Uh, yeah, let's just see. Um, hopefully we are going to get at least a hello world. Let, let's just see over here. There we go. We have our hello world. Now, uh, um, yeah, let's just build and run one new config database created, resetting user defaults. Okay, now it looks like it fetched the new ones. So let's see if it's just going to display it. Otherwise, yeah, please be patient with this. If we are not going to get the hello remote config text, which we are not right now, okay, that, that's fine. Uh, if we are not going to have, I'm going to show you uh, the other project, you know, that I was just uh, checking out uh, this, and that is this remote config demo. And here, as you can see, already inside the, the preview, it's already fetched, it's uh, on, you know, locally stored, and it says, hello there, remote config, and not the fallback. And again, it's, I just did the same thing uh, as we did there. Now, previously, uh, yeah, this is, this is really, really uh, uh, fun to do. Now, if you uh, like this tutorial, go ahead and check out uh, rebeloper.com slash mentoring, where I can talk about Firebase and all of the other stuff for SwiftUI, general, you know, if you want to learn SwiftUI, I'm the, band, the best man for you. So I will see you in the next one.